Hi everyone, I'm Trenton Bruner, Ag Solutions Advisor for BASF, covering North Central North Dakota. Today here I'm in Berthold, North Dakota, going to talk to you a little bit about our 200 series hybrids, 234PC and 233P. With L233P, this hybrid has been proven and a very consistent hybrid um, covering several different acres uh, across the U.S. Um, with L233P, we have one of our earliest maturing hybrids in the whole canola industry. Um, this hybrid uh, is, is a very short statured plant and stands very well. L234PC tends to complement 233P very well. We see this hybrid performing very well in stress conditions, also um, having the club root gene and the second generation club root resistance. L234PC tends to cover that little bit tougher ground. It does very well in that, them sandier type fields. Um, it also has the club root gene built in with second generation club root resistance um, and comes in about a day later than 233P. L255PC, being a five in maturity, is a little bit later maturing product with very good standability. We like to keep this product far north. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our hybrid numbering system before I talk about our L340PC. The first letter in our Invigor hybrid numbering system, L, stands for Liberty Tolerance. The first number in L340PC, 3 is going to signify our, um, what series of hybrid we have, 3 being our newest series in the Invigor hybrid system. 4 is going to be our maturity, 4 being that middle maturity where 3 is that early maturing and 5 being a little bit later. 0 is going to be a random digit to differentiate one hybrid versus another. So 0 is just going to be um, differentiating this hybrid from another hybrid in our hybrid lineup. P is going to be for pod shatter resistance, our pod shatter trait. And C is going to be for a club root resistance. With L340PC, um, this hybrid being brand new last year in 2020, um, we've seen very good results on its first year out. Um, L340PC is going to be a shorter stature plant, um, very good standability with this hybrid, um, very similar in maturity to our L233P being an early four in maturity. Last year with L340PC, um, it was our second highest yielding product in all of the US DST trials. L343PC is a brand new canola product for Invigor Canola coming for sale in 2022. L343PC is a very high yielding four maturity product that will complement our other four maturities very well. L343PC carries the second generation club root resistance and will be a very exciting new product to watch in 2022. LR344PC the first Liberty Roundup stack canola with pod chatter on the canola market. LR344PC um, last year proved very high yielding results, being our third highest yielding uh, canola hybrid in the Invigor canola lineup. Bringing added value with the ability to spray Liberty and Roundup all in the same season. This hybrid is a very exciting new product, being that it has the pod chatter trait and Liberty and Roundup traded canola. L345PC, our yield king. L345PC last year proved to be the highest yielding product in the Invigor Canola lineup. L345PC would be a late four maturing product for Invigor Canola. L345PC is a taller type product, very robust plant, canopies very fast, and does very well in stress conditions. L345PC um, deserves to be planted at a little bit lower population. Um, this plant canopies very fast and continues to, to perform very well in stress conditions. L357P being a five in maturity is one of the tallest hybrids in the Invigor canola lineup. With L357P we like to keep this product um, very far north um, as it's one of the later maturing hybrids in the lineup. This hybrid um, as it matures it, it will tend to lean. It gets that more table talk look um, as you'll see big girthy pods on L357. Very high yield potential with 357P. 
we like to thank you for all your Invigor business. Um, if you have any further questions on our Invigor hybrids, please ask your local BSF retailer or call your nearest BSF Ag Solutions Advisor. Thank you. Thank you.